video is brought to you by Boksu. Use my code Reina15 to get $15 off your order. Konnichiwa minasan, o hisashiburi desu. I'm Reina Scully coming to you from Japan and it has been a bit since my last video. So thank you so much for being so patient with me. Uh, this year has been rough. So just really quickly catching up if you don't follow me on Instagram. Uh, my dear precious peanut just passed away recently and it has been really hard for us. Um, she's been unwell for quite some time now and no one expected her to live this long after her seizures. So the extra time we got with her was just such a miraculous gift. And this is honestly so very different compared to the terror and shock of losing Ume, our other cat, in November. So we're like dealing with it really differently and it sounds weird but like we're dealing with it a little better with Peanut. Like I said, we had so much time saying goodbye to her and we had a lot of time to prepare and she was the older one so it all kind of makes sense but it is still really really sad and difficult to lose both our cats in such a short span of time um okay i don't want to cry so just gonna leave that as that okay so the other issue is that i have been horrifically sick for the last two and a half weeks now and it's not covid i got tested i'm finally feeling a little bit better not quite 100 percent but getting there so for the last few weeks i've done nothing but desperately try to heal and i thought it would be interesting to share some Japanese over-the-counter medicine and home remedies that are tried and true here. I also thought it might be helpful to anyone traveling to Japan after the restrictions are lifted and let's say you happen to suddenly feel under the weather, hopefully these products and methods can help you. So first of all, I have to do a little FYI, I do not know what I had. This is a little bit of a pitfall in living in the middle of nowhere Inaka in Japan because they do not have a great system for treating people who are sick without COVID. Um, I couldn't be seen by any general practitioner because I had a fever and you have to get COVID tested and obviously test negative to be seen by anybody. So in order to do that, you have to go to a specialized hospital and there's only one in my town that offers COVID tests. And what happened was I went there I tested negative and the ER doctor that was there was pretty horrible. Uh, even after I tested negative, she was like sitting very, very far away from me and she did not examine me. She didn't listen to my chest. She didn't look in my throat. She actually didn't even take my temperature after I got my temperature taken like in the entrance way. And instead of like pinpointing exactly what was wrong with me or what I had, she kind of randomly chose very low dose antibiotics and this like liquid gargle thing and then sent me home. Uh, needless to say, that did not work whatsoever. I continued being sick for two weeks after that. So yeah, I'm complaining and I'm just noting that I legitimately do not know what on earth I had. Um, it first started with my throat where my throat was like extremely sore and my lymph nodes were ridiculously swollen. I couldn't swallow anything at all. And then four days later, it traveled to my chest and my lungs and I was coughing uncontrollably for like a week and a half. I had a fever pretty much all throughout this time. It was like up and down, but kind of a low grade fever all throughout. Uh, after the coughing started, I had like insane body aches and migraines and yeah, it was pretty horrific. I'm not gonna lie, right now I'm still a little woozy, but I can eat and I don't have a fever. So yeah, hopefully I'm actually on the mend now. So now let's talk about my favorite and what I consider to be the best OTC medicine that you could get from a Japanese pharmacy that will hopefully help you if you happen to fall ill in Japan. So first let's talk about actual medicine. This is called Paburo Esu. And this one that I have is in powder form. You could also get it as tablets, 
but the powder feels significantly stronger somehow. The main active ingredients in this are ibuprofen and L-carbocysteine, which is common in a lot of medicine here in Japan. And this was actually recommended to me by a doctor who said that the potency in this is pretty much of the same level as anything that would be prescribed for a common cold. Next, this one is called Perak, and it's mainly for sore throats and coughs. I found this to be very useful when you have a lot of phlegm and sputum. They also have a really strong medicinal cough drop or lozenge that I really like. I would recommend this for less severe colds. If you have a fever already, I would go straight to the Pabodone instead. Now, for ibuprofen, Eve is the most common brand. I would say it's basically like the Advil of Japan. So Eve says that there's 200 milligrams of ibuprofen per tablet, which is the equivalent of what's in American Advil. But for some reason, it doesn't feel as effective as Advil. I don't know, it's probably psychological, but Eve doesn't quite work as well on me as this does. But yeah, in a pinch, and if you don't have Advil, these would be the best for a pain reliever. So now let's move on to homeopathic things because they're a lot more fun. This is called Ryukakusan Directo, Ryukakusan Direct. This is a lot like oscillococinum or airborne, where you're supposed to take it at the onset of any symptoms or before you get on a plane or a crowded train. So it's a weird minty powder that you are supposed to take without water. And you're literally just supposed to not swallow it. You're supposed to try really hard to keep it in your throat and let it like slowly melt in your throat. Um, I wanna show you what it looks like on the inside, but I don't know how to pour it out. I guess I'll just pour it out into my hand. Okay, so yeah, it comes in like cute little tube thingies, so it's really easy to carry around. And, okay. See, it's like this like strange powder. Oh my God, I'm sorry, I know it's like hard to see. Oh, it just looks like drugs. You're supposed to just put it in your mouth and sit it at your throat Try not to like swallow it and you'll feel it gently melting into your throat. I know I'm not selling this very well, but it feels really, really good once it melts. I don't know why I'm putting it back in as though like someone else is gonna use this after it's been in my hand. I just don't have a trash can near me right now. So it's packed with a bunch of herbal extracts like kikyo, which is a really powerful herbal remedy here in Japan. I love this stuff and I do believe it works because I have not been sick in Japan until now. And I always take this whenever I go into Tokyo or whenever I get on like a packed bus or train. And lo and behold, I haven't gotten sick again, until now. And the same brand, Yukaksung, makes my favorite throat tablets. They're basically like cough drops, but in tablet form, they're not quite a lozenge. And this is a minty matcha flavor, and it's packed full of kikyo again, the herbal thing that we really, really believe in here. And a little nerdy anime sidebar, if you watch Inuyasha, I'm sure you know of the character kikyo. Kikyo is a priestess who is supposed to be a major healer like that was her whole thing she went around to different villages and healed people which makes sense because her name is kikyo the very powerful herbal medicine that we use to heal ourselves speaking of cough drops and lozenges this is my other favorite cough drop brand it is called vc 3000 and it is pink grapefruit flavored and packed full of vitamin C. So we believe that vitamin C is a cure-all for the common cold. So you'll see a lot of vitamin C packed products marketed towards healing you or energizing you when you're not feeling so well. Which brings me to this, Kireto Lemon. So this is basically just a super concentrated sour 
vitamin C beverage. It's like a crazy sour lemonade. Kind of like the Duke Oxon Direct uh, powder thingy. I drink this when I'm kind of feeling under the weather or if I'm feeling vulnerable. It's honestly pretty delicious. However, I do recommend you eat something before you drink this whole bottle or just like don't drink it on an empty stomach because it is highly concentrated vitamin C and if you have a sensitive stomach, you will wanna throw up. Continuing on with beverages, let me introduce you to this, which is called In Energy or In Energy, which is a jelly drink. This is a lifesaver when you are ridiculously sick and you really cannot eat anything. I relied heavily on this while I was sick. First of all, it tastes delicious, like fancy grapes and it has a bunch of vitamins and calories in it that are specifically designed to nourish you. It says it has the same amount of carbs as one rice ball. I think this is also really good for athletes that need to replenish their energy really quickly. This is super bad if you're on a diet because it is pretty caloric for such a tiny drink. Actually, let me show you what the jelly inside is like. It's like a watery jelly, but it's really easy to just drink and soak up. It looks kind of gross, sorry. It's delicious though. Mmm. I've never drank it from a cup before. I really just recommend sucking it out of the packet. It's, it's kind of overwhelming when it's in a cup. It kind of feels like you're drinking mushed up aloe vera. And I'm sure most of you know this already, but here's Pocari Sweat, which is really excellent for when you're not feeling well, not just for when you're sick, but if you're dehydrated in general, if it's like super hot outside and you're sweating too much, it's basically Gatorade with a lot of easy to metabolize electrolytes in it. They generally have this in all vending machines, so it is extremely accessible anywhere. I also drank this when I sliced off my fingernail last year and I was bleeding uncontrollably. I really thought I was gonna faint, and then I drank a whole bottle of this and I felt a little bit better, but then I later fainted at the hospital. Anyway, and now let me introduce you to the supercharged version of Pocari Sweat, OS1. So this costs about twice as much as your general bottled beverage, but it is highly, highly effective. So it tastes like a salty Pocari sweat, and it's basically saline that you drink to combat dehydration. It's made with a really specific balance of potassium, sodium, and magnesium that is very easily absorbed and metabolized when you're not well. It's also the best hangover cure. It is not tasty. I don't recommend drinking this if you are well, but if you are sick, it is ridiculously helpful and nourishing. And finally, this, which is called called Rekyakushito. These are self-cooling strips that you adhere straight to your forehead to help cool your fever. These are also pretty great if you have a migraine. It says it lasts for 10 hours. It does not. It maybe lasts three hours maximum. Still very helpful. There's actually a number of different uses for this. A lot of people just simply use it to cool off on a hot day. You can use it to help heal and cool sunburns, and a lot of people actually use it to help stay focused and awake. Whenever I use these, it always reminds me of Ari no Kacho. If you know what Game Center CX is, let me know in the comments below. Now, before I wrap up, I'd like to thank Boksu for sponsoring today's video. For those of you that don't know, Boksu is my favorite subscription service that delivers premium Japanese snacks and tea pairing straight to your door. Each Boksu is curated so carefully and everything in here is authentically made in Japan, some even by traditional artisans, which makes Boksu that much more special. For your first Boksu, you receive a Seasons of Japan box that lets you taste all the seasonal flavors that are popular in Japan, and every month after that, you will receive a themed box just like this one. So here is what this month's Boksu looks like. Oh, Boksu Tanjobi! It's Boksu's birthday! Tanjobi means birthday. We have some fancy chocolate banana cookies, matcha chocolate cookies, we have an omanju called Sweet Mermaid, goma or sesame seed cookies. This is this month's Ujige Maijati, a fancy yuzu jelly. 
Pozicja finanse. And so much more. As you can see, each box comes with so many things, so it's great for sharing. I always share a bunch of these with my obacha, and so she looks forward to boksu every month as well. If you like what you see and want a boksu for yourself, or maybe you want to send one to a friend, click the link in my description below and use my coupon code RAINA15 to get $15 off your order. And that is it for this video. I really hope you don't get sick in Japan. Japan, but if you do, I hope that something in this video will be of help to you. And also remember to check the labels of each package to just make sure you know what is inside. I like to use the Google Translate app which has a camera function where you basically just hold it over the Japanese text and it scans it and automatically translates it for you. The Google Translate app isn't always perfect, like it has a really hard time translating conversational text. However, it usually does a really good job with lists or with contents, like when something is itemized, for example, the ingredients inside of medicine boxes. Please like the video if you found it helpful and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments what your go-to remedy is for when you're sick. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Sonja matta ne, o daiji ni!